I've got this really old fan here. The main problem with it, besides it being really dirty and everything, is that when you press the start button, it takes a long time to get going. And sometimes it takes like two or three minutes to get going. And I am going to show you how to hopefully resolve this problem. I've unplugged the fan and I am going to take off these front knobby parts and I'm going to unscrew this piece that holds this back section in place too. There's some bearings in here and so we need to remove this green plate. The way I understand it is that there's some ball bearings in here and you need to lubricate them and we have to put some three-in-one oil in there. I'd like to remove this plate, but it requires to remove four screws. And then it seems it's clipped on. So I don't think it's worth it because I'm afraid I might just totally, totally break it. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to put oil on the spindle here and let it flow down to the ball bearings. I'm going to be using this all-purpose. I think it's basically like a three-in-one oil for things like sewing machines, locks, etc. I'm going to try and put just a tiny little bit on the spindle. Now I'm going to be turning the spindle around to try to loosen it up. It still feels real tight to me. I'm going to try to put one more drop on it. And supposedly there's another one in the back. So with the front plate removed, I removed the uh, main back nut from here. And I'm going to pull this off. And I also had to pull off this piece that allows you to make it rotate to oscillate. Sometimes this is really difficult to come off this piece. In fact, it's always very difficult to come off and it's also kind of difficult to put on. I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but when I turn the front spindle, there's some more gears right in there that turn where my light is shining. Right in there. And that's where I'm going to put another drop of 3-in-1 oil. Ooh, that was way too much, folks. I'll clean that up. As you can see, when you first start the fan after oiling, it might not start quickly right away, and you might think that this method did not work. However, give it time. Once the blades have started rotating, leave the fan on for a few minutes to allow the oil to work its way into the moving part. I've purposely let our fan sit overnight and I am going to depress the highest gear and see if it starts. Wow, it started right up. Oiling the spindles definitely seems to help make your fan easier to start. Now I realize this is an old fashioned fan but I believe the general principle probably applies to newer fans as well. So instead of immediately going out and purchasing a brand new fan, you may try lubricating the main spindle and see if that resolves the issue. And remember, your mileage may vary. Click on the community tab for updates and previews of upcoming videos. Click on the playlist tab for videos grouped by subject. See ya!